Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products and focus. So finally Friday is upon us, it's non-farm payrolls. Uh, while yesterday's PMI data from China was not as bad as many people feared, uh, it's hardly set the markets alight. But lots of volatility overnight there as, uh, as America and Russia and Iran are all engaged in a proxy war now it seems in, uh, in Syria with Russia attacking uh, pro-US uh, or Ru US backed rebels fighting against Assad while not striking against the Islamic State. A number of uh, people are getting a little bit jittery over there. It's not really spelling over into the financial markets, but um, there, there is obviously a lot of conflict happening in that part of the world right now with some major players being involved. Nevertheless, non-farm payrolls today, 1.30 UK time, uh, expected to come in at uh, 202 thousands uh, will it will it in fact break through that level we'll just have to wait and see remember we do have a webinar um, it starts 1 15 UK time which you can access through the support section on the next gen platform and uh, gain access to webinars um, and that's with Michael Hewson and Colin Trakinski. So it looks to be that 21 period SMA is uh, still providing potential resistance. The other technicals are relatively neutral and this is beginning to look a little bit top heavy even at the bottom of this range. So moving on pardon me to the UK 100 we had a fantastic day on Wednesday, a little bit more volatility, not as bad as the US session, uh, yesterday's session. Uh, again, oscillating around that, that 21 period SMA, just above 60.73, um, but that long mega candle adds a little bit of negative um, sentiment to from it from a technical perspective. Then moving on to Japan 225, we seem to be stopping shy of that 21 period SMA again, showing its significance. Trading above both moving out, uh, both uh, support levels, uh, 17,500 is a level to watch out for, though Japan 225 is trading towards the top end of its range. I believe China's on holiday for the next few days as well. So having a look at dollar yen, not really doing a huge amount. Dollar yen is getting a little bit boring again. Trading between two ranges, 119 and 121.87. So, looking at West Texas crude, and um, it had had a good session yesterday. I'm guessing towards the end of the, U of the U.S. session where we had that little bit of a sell-off at the end. This is a, not a great candle formation again. Graveyard doji formation. Usually you get at the top end of an uptrend, but this has been sideways for a while. But um, that is giving an interesting signal to a lot of technical traders that it just doesn't want to go any higher. And we're trading above 45.85, even with all the regional conflict in the Middle East. It's not getting a big push up. I think a lot of traders are maybe just waiting to get this non-farm payrolls figure out of the way. Uh, what it will actually mean for the market. So if the non-farm payroll figure comes out worse than expected, um, you'll probably see the dollar uh, drop in value. You'll see gold move higher in value. Um, equities, they won't really know what to do because it means that rates won't raise higher. So they should maybe have a short-term spike up, but then actually a poor non-farm payrolls figure is actually worse for the U.S. economy. So it's quite an, it's quite an interesting caveat to, uh, to, to have there. So that's due at 130. This is where gold is just now, and uh, usually sensitive to interest rates. Negative days again today. So I think traders are thinking after Wednesday's ADP private payroll number, which also be expectations, not by a huge amount, but maybe by like 5%. Um, that this figure is going to be uh, maybe in line with expectations. I don't think the thing is going to set the, set the world on fire, but maybe it's going to be okay. Gold's trading below both moving averages. 1100 uh, is going to be the next potential support level on gold. So then moving on to Euro dollar. Euro dollar, not really doing a huge amount either. Uh, it started to move lower, then uh, back up again, bar barely moving, still staying around about one spot 12. And then finishing up there with GBP USD. So we have had a little bit of a retracement yesterday. It pretty much finished bang on the level. You can see the resistance remained intact. Pretty much where that potential resistance is at the tip of that top of that candle from yesterday. And uh, we're barely eking out again on the, on the sterling first thing this morning. But that doesn't really, really mean so much this early on. So economic data wise, uh, we've got your non-farm payrolls at one third UK time and the unemployment rate. Make sure you don't miss that. And then if we fast forward onto Monday, you've got German PMI, Eurozone PMI, yet more PMI data. Uh, again, from, um, from, the, from the UK. These must be a lot of final bits of data. And then you've got retail sales for the Eurozone. That'll be big for Euro dollar. And then some more PMI, ISA, ISM, Non-Manufacturing Business Index from the US. And um, 
Then on Tuesday, we've got trade balance. That'll be a big one for the US for interest rates again and the manufacturing orders from Germany. But it's all about non-farm payrolls today. That has the, the potential to really lock down people's opinions on US rates, especially if it breaks and smashes through expectations. So 203,000 jobs is expected. Um, if it comes in, say, 250,000, that would probably be quite positive. On the flip side, if it comes in at 150, that would probably be seen to be quite negative. Anything else in between, then it's like, mm, yeah, it's okay. So as ever, keep your eye on the chart form. It's great to see that Steve, uh, Steve B is on there as, as ever. And uh, a number of other uh, CMC clients and analysts are on the chart forum posting analysis for you to see there at home. And make sure you don't forget about insights. Lots of really cool information in there from our global team. And remember, support then live trader events and you can sign up to our live webinar as well. Well, thank you very much, guys. Have yourselves a good weekend. Good luck in the markets and join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.